All right, guys, we just finished the VTX, and now we're getting ready to do the camera, right? So remember now we had these side pieces. These are our brackets, our, our camera brackets. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at these and get these ready to get set up. You're gonna notice that they sit, there's a couple different ways you could put these. You could put them with the hole on the top here. You could flip it around and put the hole on the bottom. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put these just like this with the hole on the top and the top being, uh, and the hole being the closest to the front of the drone. So I'm gonna turn my drone sideways. The front is now to my left and the back is now to my right. And I'm gonna put the first bracket in just like this, all right? I'm gonna take the second bracket and do the exact same thing. And I'm going to put it in uh, just like this here. Now they're gonna be kind of loose and they may fall out, it's no big deal. But what we wanna do next is we wanna take our camera we want to take our plug here, and even though you have four pins, we're only going to be using three. So your plug should go in red, black, yellow, and make sure to go to the farthest left right there, and it should look just like this. You will have, there's a gap right here because we're not using the fourth pin, so you'll show a small gap. But if you look at the camera itself, you will notice that it says 5 to 40 volt, that's the red, ground is black, and the video is yellow. Now, like the video on the VTX that was yellow, uh, this is actually going to give the video from the camera, feed it into the flight controller, add the OSD or on-screen display parameters, and then send it back out. So this yellow is actually output from the camera to the input of the flight controller. So once it's plugged in, we're going to line this camera up, and we're going to get one of our set of small 3 millimeter screws right here, put it on the end of your screwdriver, and just try to line the camera up with the side plate so I'm gonna line it up with one of them and I'm just gonna screw that side plate, screw that screw in. And once that's on on one side, just turn the drone around, get your second three millimeter screw and put that through the hole of the second side plate. And if the plate comes off, it's okay. Just don't tighten it down too much because you wanna be able to put the plate back in. Once the top plate is on, you can tighten down the camera screws with no problem. But for right now, we wanna kinda of leave them loose so that we can uh, wiggle the um, uh, the, the side plates in place so they snap back in. And now you have the side plates in and you can see here that your drone is starting to take shape. You have your camera mounted, you have your motors mounted, you have your flight controller and your uh, VTX mounted. The last thing is gonna be where we come in and do the uh, receiver and then clean it all up. So we'll be right back uh, with the receiver installed.